Welcome to the Over 40 Alpha Podcast with your host, Funk Roberts. Hey, it's Funk Roberts, and welcome to the Over 40 Alpha Podcast. This is episode number 89, and I'm your host, Funk Roberts. Uh, if you don't know who I am, I'm a former professional athlete turned a master metabolic trainer, online fitness coach, and I'm known around the world as the guy who helps men in their late 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s completely transform their lives through workouts, through nutrition, through recovery, through supplementation, through sleep, through naturally increasing your testosterone levels, workouts, and of course, just to become the best man you can be so you can provide, so you can protect, and so you can procreate, which is why we're put on this earth. And this podcast is dedicated to you and uh, you know with the podcast episodes i i try to bring you the best of the best i try to bring you the best of the best in terms of information because like i said i am an expert in this in this field uh, i truly i truly like to say that i'm an expert because of the results that have come from uh, my expertise i'm always learning and i'm not perfect but that's why we're experts because we always want to continue to learn and bring the best knowledge. So if you're a man over 40 and you're listening to this podcast right now, you are in the right place. And uh, if you're a man over 40 listens podcast right now, you're also in the right place because today we're going to talk about wealth. We're going to talk about retirement. And most importantly, we're going to talk about how to reach that with no matter where you are right now and how old you are right now through uh, investing in real estate, investing in vacation properties. And I'm not talking about buying the swamp land down in Florida, no disrespect to Florida, but there is a lot of swamp land in Florida. Uh, I'm talking about taking uh, control and investing in vacation properties where you want to maybe live, where you want to uh, retire, and most importantly, where you can build equity, build, have money, have wealth, real wealth. If you look at all the wealthiest people on the planet um, or the the people who give you their income secrets, the, how they got to where they are and how they continue to, it's all real estate's right up there, right? Investing in real estate. And sometimes people are like, oh, well, I own this house. Or I don't even own a house or, you know, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know how that's ever going to happen specifically with the amount of money that I make or don't have or money that I don't have. And, you know that is a that is a that is a a solid reason, but that's a reason because you don't have the knowledge. And so today I'm really excited because I'm going to bring to you. Um, she's like my sister, really. She's my cousin Deval, but we are one year apart. Um, our family pretty pretty much consists of brother and sister because we're both only children, but we did live uh, together as we were growing up. And um, she is the bona fide real estate expert. Uh, and, and most importantly, when it comes to vacation income property, vacation income uh, uh, investment, uh, you know, she's she's an incredible uh, woman. She's the she's the epitome of an alpha woman. Um, she's driven. She's beautiful. She's well spoken. She's amazing. And she just created uh, this uh, new course, online course that is going to be launching in late September, well, you'll hear it on the, on the podcast, Vacation Income uh, Property Secrets. It's a 30-day course. It's online. And again, it's for people who want to increase wealth through owning vacation rentals. And once again, this is not investing in this swamp land or investing in this property. It's you doing the work to find places that you want to invest in that you want to live in and how to make money. But a lot of us don't know how to do it. In fact, there's really nothing out there that kind of teaches you that until now. Um, the Val, she's got, she's a, she's got a bachelor in, in, uh, in, uh, in bachelor of commerce from McGill university uh, in management policy and finance. And, you know, her story on how she got to where she is today is really, really great. I mean, we, there's a story in there that we didn't even talk about that I'll probably have her on again, but not only that, like um, she's a best-selling book with Brian Tracy. If you don't know who Brian Tracy is, she co-authored a book with him called success mm -hmm. today. Uh, Demo, I call her Demo. Uh, she, she, now this is where the expert comes in because she's on Bloomberg 
uh, TV. She's on CTV here in Canada, Globe and Mail. She also appeared on Homes and Homes, which is a, 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 a show, like a home show on HDTV and DIY networks. Like she's the go-to whenever they need anything about real estate. They come to Deval and then she's she's literally on TV every week, pretty much um, giving great insight on the real estate industry. But now she's still doing that. But she has vacation properties, vacation income homes. In fact, she actually created uh, an actual um, like like uh, association in a specific Prince Edward County, which is a very nice place here in uh, Ontario. It's like wine country and, you know, it's really starting to hustle and bustle, but because she has income property there, she actually went out and created a, an association for all the other people who have income properties. She's got a symposium coming up. Like if you want to learn about the ins and outs and how to start, even from ground zero, even if it wasn't something that you were thinking about, but after you hear this, you're going to be like, oh, you know what? I, I got to start doing this. I got to start really, I got to take the course and I got to start thinking about this because this is not just income property in Canada. This is anywhere, right? This, anyone can use this. But as, as we talk about men, right? We talk about what we need to think about. We need to think about our retirement. We need to think about our, our, our provide, protect. We already procreated for some of us. So now we've got that provide and protect. Well, we've got to provide for our families after we're retired. Well, we've got to continue to provide for our families even in working in our later years. We've got to provide for our kids because let's listen, if your kid, uh, if one of your kids has, uh, has, has uh, you know, children, you know that you're, if you not, don't already have, if you're not already a grandfather, you know that they're coming to you for things, right? And you want to be able to help your, your, your kids and help, you know, them, during their tough times or whenever they need help without you having to um, sacrifice, right? And that that's where investments come in and making sure that you have what you need. And it takes time and it takes knowledge. And so in this, I really hope that when you listen to this, um, if you've never even thought about it or you never even thought it was possible, when you listen to uh, Demo Devel's story, listen to how she got to where she is, and then all of the other ways to do what she's doing, man, uh, like, again, this is this, we got to start thinking about this type of stuff, right? We do, because no one has your back, right? You're going to, you know, your work doesn't have your back. So you need to start, you know, not just thinking about it, but thinking, learning, and taking action. And, Thank goodness the Vacation Income Property Secrets course will be coming out soon. Um, and that's going to be a way for all of us to learn. I'm going to take that course. And remember, I told you, um, you know, Devel's, Devel's like a sister. I mean, we're, we're family. We see each other. We're family. We're as close as the family as you can get. And I'm paying for it because her knowledge to me is worth. I'm not paying for it because I want to support her. I do want to support her, obviously. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm not just going to oh, let me just pay for it. No, I'm paying for it because I want to learn. I'm going to be part of the first uh, cohort. It's called vacationincomepropertysecrets.com. I think it starts later in September, um, but you can sign up now. But you know what? Don't sign up yet. Listen to what she has to say. This is uh, someone who's done the work, who's lived it, and uh, is now going to share um, the ways that we can invest in income property, vacation property, not the swamp lands, guys. Don't worry. We don't, we're not talking about that. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited to bring this to you because again, I'm trying to help us all create the kingdoms that we need to to, to run um, and and make sure that we're providing we're pro and we're protecting our family moving forward. So, uh, Devel Morrison, absolutely amazing. Enjoy the podcast. I'm not even they're, they're, the only sponsor I have for this is going and going to vacationincomepropertysecrets.com, signing up for that online course right away, um, no matter where you are. Maybe you have vacation properties or maybe you are thinking about it or maybe you're already in the process. Now having all the tools that you need because there's a lot of things you're probably not even thinking about. You're like, oh yeah, wait a minute. I gotta, I gotta uh, have a property manager in Greece to do my, to have my how, how, how do I find that? Or how do I list? Or how do I, you know, what are some of the secrets that devel has gone through? Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm really excited. It's my family, it's my sister. Enjoy this podcast because this is going to be absolutely game changing for you. It is going to be for me and it will be for you. Uh, enjoy the podcast. 
We are live. We are live. And I'm so excited today, everyone. There's, I'm, a, I'm excited for a couple of reasons. Number one, I'm excited because we are going to give you a wealth of knowledge, pun intended, pun <laughs> intended. And number two, I have someone today on the podcast who is almost like a sister, really and truly, I think. Well, I think our family kind of puts us in the brother sister, um, you know, back bracket because we've lived together for a while when we were younger and you're only one year younger than me. And uh, we probably are cut from the same cloth because when it talk when we talk about high achievers in our family, listen, no, dis- we have a family of high achievers. We got great cup champions. We got freaking, you know what I mean? Like we got a high achiever, <laughs> but I mean, I think. The two of us are always kind of like, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> right? So I just, uh, and today we're going to talk about wealth and, and ways to increase your wealth. So anyway, before I'm excited. So let's first introduce you to my cousin slash sister, Devel Morrison. Devel, hey, um, Thanks what's so going for, on? Thanks so much for having me. I'm so excited that we finally do this after so many years. Yeah, um, definitely. So I'm so excited to be here and talk to your listeners. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be good. So, um, you know, one of the reasons why I wanted to have you on is just because you are a wealth of knowledge in regards to um, investing and investing in in real estate. And although we're Canadian, I think this doesn't matter. This is anyone in the world because a lot of your investments are around the world or you have those around the world. And, um, you know, as we get older, you know, in our 50s, 60s, 70s, and we may not have put away money, right? how important is it to actually be able to like, you know what I mean? Like we, you were, I've always put away money, but I know I wasn't putting away RSPs and that sort of thing. Cause I was trying to grow my business. Mm-hmm. Now I'm 53. What options do I have now, you know, to ensure that my kids and my, their grandchildren uh, are going to live wealthy? Yeah, no, absolutely. And that's a very good question. As we get older, we start to ponder what does our retirement look like? <laughs> Hey, it's great. We're working on our bodies and we're making our bodies fit and feel good because we want to make sure that we're going to have a good quality of life going forward. But having a good quality of life going forward is awesome. But on the wealth front, how do we pay for that? We're living a good life now, but we need to be able to pay for a life when we're not living, when we're not working anymore. And when you think about the life expectancy right now, people are living well into their 80s and 90s. So that's a long time to be able to actually pay for your existence when you have no income coming. And so for me, that's one of the reasons why I've been such a big believer of investment properties. So for years and years, I've been buying investment properties, getting rental incomes. In the last five years, I've been buying vacation rental properties. Because again, it's that balance of, I wanna have a little bit of extra money right now, so give me that side hustle. But also, how am I gonna make money when I retire? when I'm no longer working. And I'm also that kind of person where, number one, I love traveling around the world, everywhere and anywhere. But I'm not that person who is going to spend six months in one location for my entire winter. You know, in North America, there's lots of people who are going to go live in Florida for six months. Well, that's not me. That's not my vibe. And so what I like is the ability to say, hey, you know what, I'm going to spend one or two months in this country, and then I'm going to spend another one or two months in this country, and then I might spend the rest of the time traveling around. But all that takes money. So what I've started doing is my first vacation rental property. I purchased it about five years ago. It's in Prince Edward County, and I didn't have the money to do this all by myself. So I'm not trying to talk to you to say, hey, get lots of money and do this. I'm saying get friends, partner with friends, family members, do this as a group because you don't have all the money. It's nice to be able to rely on other people who also have money and you can get to group, get together as a partnership. And what's great about that is then you've got other people to bounce ideas off of. You're not the only one who's doing the work, right? You're busy, whatever you're doing in your life, you've already got a lot on your plate. It's really nice to be able to have a team of other people that you can work with. You're all focused on the same goal. So I would say, number one, find a group of good friends or family members that you think that you could work with on an investment uh, standpoint, and then pick a location, something that speaks to you, a place where maybe you're thinking, hey, you know what? I would like to retire. 
And maybe that's the Caribbean, maybe that's Europe, maybe that's Central America, maybe that's a rural area in Canada, wherever that is and wherever in the world you think you would like to retire, start investigating and learning more about opportunities in that particular place. So one of the websites I love going to is called airdna.co because airdna.co basically skims all the data from Airbnb and VRBO. And it lets you do research on areas where you think you might like to invest in so that you can see, hey, what's the rental demand in that particular area? Are there a lot of rentals in there? What are people charging? How much money could I possibly make? So I love this website because it really helps me anywhere in the world figure out where I want to be and what the competition is like. And it also shows me the top properties in that particular area. So now I know who set the bar how much money they make and what I need to look like. So I recently purchased a property with a couple of friends in Barbados. And what I loved about what AirDNA allowed me to, to see was, oh, these are the top properties. This is how much money they make and this is what their interiors look like. And I knew that I could make my interior look much better than theirs. <laughs> and, and, you know, because the one thing in Barbados is a lot of people have old furniture and it's not great. It's not current. It's not up to date. Mm. So my friends and I, we purchased a place there. We did lots of research. And I'm going to tell you, because it was COVID, we purchased the place sight unseen because we actually couldn't jump on a plane to see it. Um, so we actually had a realtor walk through us on WhatsApp video to show us the property. We had it inspected to give us some comfort with it. And that's how we made our purchase. And then we bought furniture brought it down there and made it look amazing. And so now I'm on this chat group of other owners who own rental properties in Barbados. And what's really interesting is some of them are talking about how they're not getting as many bookings now, you know, things aren't going well for them, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I don't want to say anything, <laughs> but I'm booked. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I'm like, I'm getting bookings and people are booking my place. And I could tell you that I bet you aesthetics plays a lot into this. As they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. You need to make your place look cute and stylish and all of those things are super important. So I think that when people are surfing Airbnb and they see what my place looks like versus what my competitors' places look like, they're booking my place. Let me ask you a question. I'm going to start. I'm going to just, sorry, yeah. I'm just, man, you, the, the wealth of information that you're giving right now is insane. So if you're listening, let's keep listening. Air <laughs> DNA is the place, but we're going to bring, because you're okay. So let me, I guess I have a question to ask you. So yeah. don't you think that if you, you're on a chat with other people in Barbados, I'm going to the Barbados. What if you just said, okay, guys, maybe you should improve your aesthetics. Don't you think that would bring even more people to Barbados because now it's like oh wait a minute there's this little place here in Barbados where all the places look good and then it continues as opposed to kind of like I'm just going to keep it to myself like do you do you, do you share some tips with with your competitors uh I do yeah. I do share some information yeah, yeah. so maybe that came across <laughs> like I'm a little bit like Ooh. no no, no. Um, I, yeah so <laughs> <laughs> And I should say, if you go to vacationincomepropertysecrets.com, I am going to be running a 30-day yeah. course on how to run a vacation property. Yeah. So let's step outside of Barbados for a second. I'm also the president of the licensed short-term accommodators of Prince Edward County. So we have over 200 members and I run a paid Facebook group for people who own vacation rentals in Prince Edward County. And for those who don't know where Prince Edward County is, it's two hours east of Toronto along the 401. Yeah. And it's basically in between Toronto and Montreal. There's a beach, there's wineries. People go and just hang out and enjoy the countryside, but wine as well, too. And so in that group, I do share a lot of information. <laughs> well, you're the president, so. I don't necessarily yeah. keep it all to myself. It's just, it's because I've been running that group for three years. I have a comfort level with who's in the group and right. sharing. 
True. And with the Barbados group, I only just joined and I'm still trying to get my feet wet and figure okay. the group out. It oh. runs a little bit differently. So um, it's not necessarily that I'm like super competitive because like I said, I uh, I do share a ton of information okay. on my Facebook group for uh, <laughs> Prince Edward County. And in fact, I share so much information. We are holding a vacation income property symposium on Saturday, November the 5th in Prince Edward County uh, for people who own vacation rentals. So um, yeah, a lot going on and I'm certainly deep into the vacation rental area. Yeah, I, I, so like, okay, so now we're gonna back up because you we we gave you, now I like the way this this episode's going because we threw you through some amazing tips. And by the way, for those who's list, who are listening, I am now part of, well, I will be part of your next purchase because for me, I want to get into this, but I don't know everything. So there's a couple of things that uh, Demo, I call her Demo, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Demo did Demo. Demo. So we're going to go back and I'm going to, we're going to start Devel's origin because you need to know why you're even on here. Like, why should we even be listening to you? Yeah, you made some great, you know, vacation symposium. And thank goodness you have this course because I don't think there's a course on the planet that will take you through ground zero to, to having that comfort to start buying or at least investing or wherever you are. Maybe you were almost at that point. You just need some to, to learn your uh, vacation income property secrets. If you guys go to that, there will be a link, but if you're listening to this, vacation income property secrets.com i'm going to be taking that course because i want to make i want i don't want to front right like i don't want to front like oh you know like devels demos my seat my sister you know she she's got me no 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 i, I want to learn too because i don't i want to be able to to increase my my investments to invest in in real estate i mean if you go on to youtube or anything what are the first things these moguls tell you what are the things you know gold i think they say or maybe it's not even gold anymore maybe silver but real estate's always at the top right yeah. real estate's always the thing and it's like sometimes it can be overwhelming like well frick man i can barely pay my my mortgage for this how the hell you expect me to get vacation rentals well we already had that one tip that you said getting in a group, getting people that you're, you're, you're comfortable with and then getting starting there. But when you go into this, it's uh, I think it starts what September, when, when, when is your course? The first course starts September 24th. We're taking signups right now. Yeah. And yeah. so we'd love to have you guys join us for our first cohort of the class for sure. Yeah. And I mean, to go through sort of my background, cause you know, Funk, you mentioned, you know, like we haven't even gone through like the beginning. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I mean, for me, my beginning is, I mean, I was based my, I, you know, lived in the suburbs. My parents got divorced when I was about 10 years old. So it was really a single parent household. My mom bought a townhouse in Thornhill, uh, which is a suburb of Toronto. And the townhouse was small. And I felt like the poor kid at school because all the other kids at school, their parents were married and they lived in big houses. And especially, that was when, especially when the Funkster also lived in the same house <laughs> <laughs> yeah like it's a small it was a small place but over time my mom was able to sell that place make money buy a bigger place in a different area make money and then buy a different place in another area and start having a rental property and so i saw that as a young person growing up what my mom was able to do and so it's one of those things that's kind of really instilled in me in terms of the ability of buying real estate and being a, a real estate investor, how that can lift you up and how that can lift your wealth up. And so for me, that's why it's one of the reasons I became a real estate agent. I want everyone to be wealthy. And so to me, the basis of that wealth is real estate. As Funk just mentioned, when you look at everybody's you know wealth list in terms of their assets, real estate's always on that list. Wealthy people have real estate and you can be wealthy and you can have real estate too. So yes. it's a matter of trying to figure out how to do it in an affordable way. Right. So let's go back. So now school's over. You go to McGill University in Montreal and let's let, give, give us some of the highlighted jobs or careers that you were in before you became a real estate agent, because this sure. is important. So just go, just give us that little clip. Sure. So, yeah. So graduated McGill University, management policy and finance, BCom. And my first job was working at a brokerage firm as a sales assistant because I was trying to get into investment banking and that kind of thing. 
And it was never really working out for me. I wrote my level one CFA, which stands for Chartered Financial Analyst for people who don't know. And I failed it, but I didn't feel alone because 60% of the people also failed the exam. It's super, right. super hard. Right. Anyways, I started to take that as a sign to start, you know, thinking of other things in my life. And I started to think about the fact that when I was in high school, when I was in university, in my extracurricular activities, I was like the advertising manager or, you know, I was just doing stuff like that. And I started reading an article in the Financial Post newspaper about the Toronto International Film Festival and how they go about finding corporate sponsors. And I thought, well, that sounds like something I did in my extracurricular activity at school. I can do that. So I'm also very persistent. And I wrote to them and I wrote to them and I wrote to them. And a job opening was coming up. So I worked in the development department, finding corporate sponsors for TIFF for about four years. But I'm also that person that needs to learn and needs to grow all the time as well, too. And after about four years of that, I was like, A, I need to make more money. B, I've been promoted as much as I possibly can here. I need to go elsewhere. And at the time, the internet was big. And I know for some of the people who are young on this call, they have no idea what I'm talking about right now, but the internet didn't exist before and I wanted to learn about it. So I got a job working for a dot-com company in business development, which is basically sales, so that I could sell. It, there were just financial packages online. It was an online business because that was new. Anyways, that didn't work out so well. And then I ended up working for another sponsorship marketing agency. And after working for this other sponsorship marketing agency, I was like, I feel like I want to work for a big corporation and know that I can cash my checks. So I reached out to somebody I knew who worked at one of the national broadcasters. And I said, hey, can we meet up, meet for coffee? We met up. She told me that they were looking for sales reps for the W Network, which is the women's network. Uh, to sell advertising and sponsorships. And I was like, oh, I like that game. Anyways, I got an interview, I got the job and I spent 10 years selling advertising for the W Network, um, which for you know people who don't live in Canada, that would be like working at HGTV or Lifetime, or it's basically a network that is skewed towards women. There's lots of romance movies. <laughs> yes, there is. You know what I'm talking about, Fun? I do know what you're talking about. Yes, sometimes I can get caught up in a good old fashioned W network, a Hallmark freaking movie where I just can't feel my away from the movie i don't know what it is guys that's my that's my you know my my soft side my feminine side coming out my estrogenic side coming out you know <laughs> that's the like the dirty little secret that funk has we just learned this actually recently, <laughs> that he watches romance movies <laughs> sometimes sometimes yes i get i get i get reeled in man i don't know why <laughs> <laughs> so after about 10 years selling advertising for the w network during that time, I started buying investment properties okay. and I knew that they were going to be laying off staff every other year. They started laying off staff to save money. And I figured at some point they're going to lay me off. I better figure out what I'm doing next in my life. Mm -hmm. So I started getting my real estate license mm -hmm. because I thought, you know what? I'm already doing this on the side. I can do this. Anyways, needless to say, got my license um, got laid off. And then three days later, I was signing my contract at Bosley Real Estate. I've been there for 10 years. I'm in the top 10 of my brokerage of over 250 okay. agents. I'm going to stop you there because we're okay. going to get to that point. So okay. a few things I want you guys to just hear about this, because as far as I'm so Demo is like the, the true alpha woman. You are very, you're very alpha in just in, in the things you do. Persistency, like I'm telling you guys right now, there's someone, I don't know anyone more persistent then develop like you're you're like and then tiff like i, I watched some of the the craziest movies but great movies because you used to have viewings you used to have viewing for everyone would come and she would just have a viewing of a of, of a, what movie did we watch we watched the um it was it was a scottish movie that the fly on the wall or something fly oh, no idea it was crazy crazy yeah. um and then here's the other thing the persistency and then learning always learning and growing like that is key you're 52 years old i think you must have been in your 40s when you were when you when you said okay i'm done with course let's move on to another so in your 40s now you're yeah. now a new complete career like and and it's real estate it's not sales and advertising and the things you were doing before so mm -hmm. once again something that you had passion for 
you want to learn and grow like these are these are um incredible alpha um i just i just want to say that yeah no absolutely i mean i think it's about sort of reading the room too and figuring out you know what's next i think for a lot of people when you're in your 40s and 50s you're gonna get laid off from your job i mean i I say this to my girlfriends all the time i'm like you're not secure I don't care what company you're working for. Your corporation does not give a hoot about you. And so if you're in your 40s or 50s, you need to start thinking about what's next. And I think you need to start thinking about what business you're going to start because it's harder and harder to get a corporate job and stay with it no matter who you are. So I think that's something to, to remember. I mean, funk, it goes back to you and your history as well, too, totally. right? Yeah, you were working in an online career company, <laughs> yeah. and then eventually you had to retool and go to your passion, which was fitness. So it's happened to all of us in our forties. In our forties, we did that in our forties. Yeah. You know? Um. Okay. So so the other thing too about uh, Devel is that if you you're you're one of those people who are like listen if like you're not about like okay well you know what. Um, that thing is not available. So I'm just going to kind of sit here and kind of wait for things to happen. You're like, no, 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 it's not available. Then I'm just going to do it myself. Like, yeah. oh, like for instance, the staging that always blows my mind uh, because as a real estate agent, you do have to stage houses. And yes, I remember yeah. at a time you're like, well, there's no staging companies anymore. I don't know if it was because of COVID or something, but you literally in like a week, you said, okay, I'm just going to do my own staging. I'm going to buy the, the, I'm going to buy all the furniture, put yeah. it in the in storage unit i'm gonna yeah. corp- incorporate the company or whatever and now i have my own staging like that's insane that's amazing it's true so basically what happened was in 2017 in spring the real estate market was turning and what was happening was that properties were staying on the market a lot longer and because they were staying on the market a lot longer all of a sudden if you wanted to stage a listing staging furniture wasn't available because all the companies doing staging were all booked up and all of their furniture was out So you couldn't stage. So at that point I went, you know what? I'm just going to have to buy my own furniture. Now I have two storage lockers with my own furniture in it. So that now when we need to stage a listing, we've just got all of the items. We move them out. We've got a moving company that we work with. And it just gets done because at some point, yeah, you just can't, can't sit on your laurels and be like, woe is me. You got to figure out, okay, Let's on go company, on hands. Yeah. And if it works, it works. If it does, it does it. But at least you have the control over what you did. Like you can control it. But most of the times, if you have the, the drive to do it, you'll make it work. Right. You'll make it work. Absolutely. But it's also OK to fail as well, too. Right. Yes. I think it's great to just get out and push your envelope and just do stuff. And if you fail, that's OK, too, because you've got some key learnings from that failure to go on to the next time that you win. So I think it's the idea of, you know, don't be afraid. And, you know, I talk about this in my Vacation Income Property Secrets course, the word fear. And to me, fear stands for false evidence appearing real. So if you think about that, fear stands for false evidence appearing real. Because we have all these stories in our head about what exists and really nothing. You just got to push yourself. Like, so for most of your, you know, your listeners, they've done your workouts. And I'm sure before they did their workout, your workouts, they didn't think they could get there. They didn't think that they could acquire the body that they now have. And they did that by like working bit by bit by bit by bit. It's like, if you look at someone who takes an ax to chop down a tree, they don't chop down that tree with the first swing of the ax. It's all of those little swings of the ax that builds themselves up. The same thing that people are doing with their bodies. Now you just interpret that for your financial freedom as well too. So when I talk about, you know, vacation property secrets, someone, someone might say, oh, but I'm not ready to buy anything just yet. I'm like, no, no, that's the whole point. You're doing research. Before I bought Barbados, I was researching it for a year and a half, two years prior. This takes time. This is not like a, hey, let's go do it right away. This is a, let me do the research. Let me do the work. This is a, you're taking swings of the ax on that tree and it adds up eventually to get you what you want. The same thing that you've done with your body. Right. Love it. Love it. So before we get into like some of the, some tips, like if I was like listening to this right now and now I'm interested now I'm like, Oh, you know what? I Let me hear a little bit more. Like if you can give us high level tips, I don't even want to give away the vacation income property. See? So when it comes to like, you are, you are truth 
expert in the real estate industry. And what I consider an expert is not only someone who's done the work, who's lived it, who practices what you preach, but you're on TV. You you wrote the book with Brian Tracy, co co-authored Success to, Success Today. You you're on BNN Bloomberg, which is uh, like and CNBC, I believe it's it's like it's kind of similar, but in Canada we don't have it. Oh, yeah, we, oh it's Bloomberg. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, Bloomberg. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, um, like they come to you. Uh, like yeah. literally, I'm gonna tell you guys something. Like literally every week, it's like, oh, did you guys see me in this station? Did you see me here? Did you see me here? Like, um, CTV, Globe and Mail. You you were on Homes and Homes. Um, which is HD TV DIY, uh, yeah. you know, like, like you're, you're, they come to you when it comes to certain real estate things, like on a seems like weekly basis, um, you're always on TV. So this is again, not the, De- De- I, I keep calling her demo, but Devel Devel isn't someone who's just like, you know, felt fell into this, which is fine if that is, but like, this yeah. is like the cream of the crop. Like you're getting it from, all of these other media uh, agencies and and outlets trust and homes on homes trust what uh, Devel has to say. So that's why if you're going to learn about vacation income properties, you want to learn it from Demo. You want to learn it from Devel. You want to learn all those tips and tricks. So make sure again, guys, like you sign up, even if because sometimes you may think oh, I don't even know, but you but there's something in your like heart or you hear that small yeah. voice say you should do it. You should do it. Like. Just do it. I mean, this is your future for not just you when you retire, but for your kids and for your grandkids. And maybe it's your kids that you you partner with. Maybe it's a, a family thing that you partner with. So I just wanted to throw that in there because I think it's important when people are going to hear your tips that they know, oh, okay, well, okay, oh, I better listen up now. Let me clear my ears because this is someone who, if you turned on any of those channels next week, you'll probably see her on those. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome that's true no, I mean, it's true it's true so yeah i mean it really in terms of the vacation income property secrets yeah. course you know we're going to talk about countries that you think that you you want to invest in we'll talk about financing these properties these purchases because that's absolutely a big factor we want to talk about insurance we want to talk about finding the perfect real estate agent in those particular markets we want to talk about which platform you should use in terms of placing your rentals mm. we also want to talk about what's the best communication strategy once you have your rental on some of the platforms so for example on Airbnb they have automated messages so we'll go through the nitty gritty of automating those messages so that it, you can do this a little bit more hands-off. We'll talk about making sure that you hire the right property managers and the cleaners. You know, what I'm talking about this, you're not cleaning yourself. You're not doing the property management yourself. Yes, you might be doing some of the communication with the guests, but that obviously depends on you and how you like to communicate. But, you know, we'll, we'll talk be talking about decor. We'll talk about some of the things that are really important to make sure that you do to make sure that the guest has a really good experience. Some of the things that you might not have thought about. So all of those things are part of the Vacation Income Property Secrets course. So, yeah, I'm really excited that we're going to have our first cohort starting uh, Saturday, September 24th. So Online. Huh? Online. Yes, I should say that. It's online. So it's online. There'll be a dedicated Facebook group for everybody so that we can share information, share uh, people's insights, share tips, ask questions. At some point throughout the course, we'll also do a live session as well. But live meaning live online, <laughs> not live in person. So that that's why it's a kind of course where anybody from around the world can take it. It's great because you can go through those modules at any time. It's up mm-hmm. to you. It's you on your laptop when you have time. So it's not me telling you, hey, you've got to be doing this at such and such time on a given day. Yeah. This is when it fits into your schedule, you can just log on do a module. There's a workbook that you're going to be given so that you can fill out the workbook as well too along the way, but we'll have lots of exercises. We'll actually include TV shows that we think that you should watch for inspo. Nice. Because there are some great shows out there, you know, Netflix or otherwise that can give you some really good inspo and insights in terms of purchasing your vacation rental. Yeah. I man, this is great because like I said, I was very excited when you approached me saying you want to do a course I was like, oh, this is, this is, cause I want to learn. Like I want, I haven't touched, I haven't seen the course yet, 
I've seen some things because you sent me some things just to for feedback. But but I'm really excited because once again, like this is something we all have to be thinking about. This this because this is online. So it doesn't matter what country in the world you live in, you'll be able to use all of these tools that you learn. And you're gonna give like I think you said you mentioned something about giving like like literal examples, like almost like okay, this is the actual template that I use when I post yeah, so. Facebook, whatever. This is yeah. a Oh man. So like you're getting all the tools and like, what? how long? So if let's just say I'm day one, day zero, I've never, I don't, this was never in my mind, but now it is. Yeah. What is the timeline from that? I should expect. And I know it's going to be different with everybody. I totally understand that. But mm -hmm. like the year before uh, I should be able to at least almost get to the point where, you know, I'm find something? Find something or is it two years or should we not put any, cause I it think you, it depends on you, right? And it depends on your situation mm. because this could be the kind of thing that you decide to purchase in three months, six months, nine months, a year, two years. And so that's why I say that any now is the right time to take the course because yes. whether you're going to purchase, whether you're going to purchase that vacation rental, you know, three months to two years out, you need to always be thinking about some of these things, right? Because some of this information isn't going to come to you right away. So, and it's always important to be ready to buy when the right opportunity comes up as well, too. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's a, a great thing for people to do. Again, it gives you some extra money now coming in, which is perfect. I'm sure lots of people could use a little side hustle now. Totally. But picture in your retirement, you can have a, a house to live in that's already paid off for because you've done the work now. It's already paid off. And the times when you're not using it, that house is still going to be earning you an income and paying you when you retire. And unless you are like a billionaire, <laughs> exactly. like you've got like a serious trust fund, you're gonna need money at some point in your life. Yeah. You either need it now or you need it in your retirement, or maybe you need money in both cases, in your retirement and now. So yeah. I think that's the thing to think about is that it's good to have another source of income. Right. You don't want to put all of your eggs in one basket. It's good to diversify. So whatever you do is your primary career. Great. Awesome. Get a side hustle going. So this acts as a great side hustle for you. And then when you retire again, if you've put to put aside retirement savings, great. If you have not put aside, put aside re retirement savings, this will help to give you an income right. in retirement. And, and now that people are living longer, like you're going to be living into your 90s, you are going to need to fund a lot of your living, let's say between 70 and 90. And I've made a huge assumption that you're retiring at 70. Maybe you're retiring at 65 or 60, but whatever. The point is, is that 30 to 40 years of your existence, you are not going to be working and you need to bring in an income. So having a vacation income property now is a great way to make sure that you're going to have an income later on. Well, wow, that's, that's, that's huge. I always tell my guys, I want to live till I'm 99, but not like granny Edith, right? Like no disrespect to granny. Edith. She's our gangster, gangster granny. But like, we have all the tools now to be doing burpees at 99. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> see, <laughs> see, <laughs> seeing our great grandchildren, which is another thing too, because everyone thinks about retirement, yeah. but I know that, you know, I'm, you know, I, I, I give, you know, Cassian money. And then if he has kids, who's he going to come to for money? Yeah, of right? course. Us. He's, your kids are going to come to us when they need things and you want to be there to provide it without blocking or without going, whatever you want to be. Oh, because remember provide, protect, procreate. You're procreated already. Now you got to provide and protect and pro protect, providing protecting means when your kids are in trouble or when your kids have maybe they lost their house and you don't want them living with you, you know, <laughs> or, or they have a new, new children, you have grandchildren, you're going to have to help in some way. And so you don't want to jeopardize your living, although you do, you know, you want to be able to do both still live retired, you know, comfortable, but also be able to provide for your family. And it doesn't matter if you're working right now at a job that like that pays no money or like that pays barely anything you can still start thinking about this and getting the mindset change right because it's all about all about mindset too 
Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But also too, picture your retirement where you invite your whole family down to whatever property that you have as your vacation rental, right? So it's your kids, it's your siblings, it's your kids' kids. You know, the whole family can come together at whatever property you've decided to buy. And that's also a really nice feeling as well, too, saying, hey, you know what, everybody? Come on down to my place. And I mean, that's what I did last year with my friends. It was kind of cool. I I said to all my friends, I'm like, come down for New Year's. Let's party. And I'm doing the same thing this year with some friends. I'm like, come down for New Year's. Like, Mm. Let's hang out. And people are like, oh, yeah, free place to stay. All I need to do is, you know, cover my airfare and we can all hang out and party. And in this great destination, it's it's kind of nice just to be able to have that to do with your friends and family. Right. Yeah, for sure. And, he, and who knows? I don't know. I'm, I'm not I'm not politicizing anything, but who knows? Specifically North America. Who knows what's going to happen? And knowing that you have a place somewhere else, like Portugal or, you know, Switzerland or somewhere where you know that you can still live, that's not, you know, in a political unrest in any yeah. way that you can go because it's your property. And the yeah. other great, the other thing is like, because I've been talking about this so much, like Cassie came up to me the other day and he's like, listen, granny, uh, his, uh, his grandmother, uh, on his mother's side, she's maybe selling the cottage, right? They're talking about selling the cottage. The first thing is, well, why don't you buy the cottage? Because we want, like, she was like this is Cassie and talking. He goes, because what, because we, they don't, they don't want us, they don't want to split it up amongst the kids because there's a little bit of, you know, because oh. it, it, it's, it's a blended family. So, like, my, you know, it's a blended family on that end. So they don't want to, the, the grandmother, she's just like, I just want to sell this thing and then give the money to the kids. But Cassian's like, wait, 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 no, 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 no. I think my dad, but like, so he's, he's thinking, he's like, you know, he was like showing me where it was and he's like literally selling me the place, even though it's not up for sale, even though, they haven't said that they're going to sell it. That right. conversation happened when he was at the cottage and he came to me and he's like, dad, you got to buy this place. It's amazing. And then guess what? It could still stay in the family, but it's not the family. Like, you know what I mean? Like the immediate family, it's like your only. So there's, I love that thinking. So your kids start adopting that thought process mm-hmm. because I know he's thinking about that. He's thinking mm-hmm. about, you know, that's one of his things in his to do is like, Oh no, I want to, I want to own property. Uh, not where I just live, but mm-hmm. I want to own property as well. Mm-hmm. You know, at 25 years old, when you're thinking about that and why is he thinking about that? Well, he hears us talking about it. And so yeah. as, a, as a parent, as a father, even if you, you know, you, you, you get, you do this, this course um, and then you start talking a little bit more and, you know, your wife is on board and, you know, it just, it, it, all of that positivity, the wealth, like focus it, yeah. it drips down. It drips down to the family. And I mean, hey, that's why I'm here because my mother was doing that. My mother was sharing with me all the intimate deal- details of her purchasing real estate when I was a teenager. And right. so that got my mind going as well, too. Right. So that's the thing is like you are showing yourself as an example to your kids, your friends and other family members. I mean, it's funny, if, even if I look at my friend circle, I mean, I, I don't have kids, but right. in my friend circle, a lot of my close friends are all real estate investors. Right. We all right. talk about it. Right. right. So we're all like feeding off of each other. Um, about doing this because it is something that's really important to protect your income after you retire. And even Ryan, Ryan, like, I mean, even our family. Yeah, you know, exactly. Our family's kind of like, you know, it's amazing. It's amazing. So, so yeah. Is there anything else you want to, do I have everything here? Yeah. I mean, I just want people to go online and do the vacation income property secrets course. So if they go to vacation income property secrets.com, sign up for the course. I'll see you on the other side. We're going to work together. And I'm really excited to show my first cohort everything they need to know about buying a vacation rental property, whether they're ready to buy that property two months, three months, six months, a year, two years from now. But now is absolutely the time to start and learn. And I'll be in that first cohort. cohort. And I'm buying it too. Like this is my sister. And I'm actually going to buy it because I feel that your knowledge and not having this, maybe there is something out there. I don't, I've never seen anything like this before. A course that teaches us 
I mean, there's courses that teach you real estate wealth, but not specific yeah. to one thing. Yes. And uh, right. And that's why this is, uh, I, I think it's, it's going to be, niche. yeah, it's very niche. And it's like, okay, this is what I want to do, whether it's, and it doesn't have to be in different countries. It could be in your own yeah. state. It's it just a, like cottage. Well, we call them cottages here in Canada. I don't even know if they call them cottages in the U.S., but I know Some we call, them, call them camps or cottages. But yeah, I mean, this course is relatable no matter where you live in the world. Right. And no matter where you'd like to purchase in the world, because there are some universal truths to right. purchasing a vacation rental property. Love it. One last question before you go, and this is totally unrelated to any, well, it is related, but if you have a house, this is important. If you have a house, do you sell it or do you, does it matter? You keep it and then you, and let's, so let's, we have this house here, right? Like, we're, no, we're, we were buying a, we want to buy this. We're, we're, we're going to invest for sure yep. in the vacation stuff, but we also want the big, you know, compound. Right. Yep. But, you know, Angela is, is like, Oh, we should sell this. I'm like, no, we're no. never selling this freaking keep house in ever. You, you keep it. Mean. I mean, yeah, you've got a property, you've been living in it for a long time. The mortgage is, you know, very small. You want to keep it and leverage it and use that money to purchase your next place. But you yeah. want to keep it and rent it out because again, it's like having a pension fund. Right. Your own little pension fund already set up with the house that you right. already own. Mm. So that's a great thing to have. So yeah, you in your particular case, Funk, I would say keep it. Anyone who's owned a property for a long time, if you can keep it, definitely keep it because I can tell you, you will regret that you sold it. In fact, that's another reason I became an agent. <laughs> I had a condo. I can't remember it was. 15 years ago, and no one had ever explained to me that I could keep the condo, leverage it to buy a house. Right. Sold the condo, bought the house, and I've always regretted that I did not have that condo anymore mm. because I paid $200,000 for 850 square feet. Right. And, you know, for those who don't know Toronto real estate, that same condo now would be over a million dollars. Yes. And so now I regret the fact that I sold that condo. So, and no one explained to me that I didn't have to sell it and that I could have kept it. So absolutely keep it if you can. Awesome, man. This has been great. This has been amazing. I love you very much. I love nice all the information. Fun. This has been incredible. And I cannot wait. I'm getting goosebumps. I cannot wait. As soon as I get back from Florida, I'm in like Gunga Din. And you guys, <laughs> and you guys have to be into. Thank you so much, Dima. Where else can they find you? Like, what if they want to, you know, follow you and follow your investments and your travels and everywhere that you so, go? Because you, you travel a lot. I do too. If you go to Instagram, you can follow me at Devel Morrison. Uh, so that's one place to find me for sure. I'm on LinkedIn, Devel Morrison as well. Uh, but check out my course, vacationincomepropertysecrets.com. And if you want to come to the conference that we're holding, that is vacationincomepropertysymposium.com. Um, so you can go there, see you in November. And uh, okay. that's it. Devel spelled D A V E L L E. Yes. Devel, that's how it's spelled. And I want to oh, go, 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 go. I was going to say, and one more thing. And if you're interested in just real estate in Toronto, you can go to Morrison sells real estate.com. So if you go to Morrison sells real estate.com, there's all about the real estate there. I even also have a, a great blog that I've written about my trials and tribulations about buying my property in Barbados. And there's also information about my course there too. That's amazing. And uh, I just want to, I just want to be certain that you're when in the symposium that you're doing, you're not going to lock the doors and force us to stay and then sell us some, some, uh, some, some swamp land in Florida. No, the symposium, <laughs> I mean, the symposium is actually really for people who already own vacation rental. Okay. Property. Okay. 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 But I think that the people who don't would find it interesting as well. I have a rep from Airbnb coming to share research and insights and technical tools. We've got a mortgage broker coming to talk about financing your property. We've got interior designers who are talking about designing specifically for short-term rentals. We, we have a, a ton of information being shared at that symposium and it's just one day yeah. in Prince Edward County. So that's all good too. Yeah. And yeah, cause a lot of people do think that, you know, they think about oh, vacation property. You want me to buy some, some swamp land. No. So this is not what this is. At that conference is not a sales pitch for anything. In fact, I won't even be promoting my course there. Right. <laughs> that's yeah, how, 
not a sales pitch. It is. It's yeah. just about learning and information sharing. Amazing. And then again, and this is the thing that, you know, you can trust with, De- with Devel is because she's giving the power to you, giving you the information to the course. This mm-hmm. is how you do it step mm-hmm. by step. And then even if you have questions that that Facebook group is going to be key. So thank you again so much. You know, you're the Thanks best. I love you. And guys get on that vacation income symposium. I mean, uh, course I'm going to be on it and uh, we'll, we'll see you soon. Thanks so much. Sounds good. Thanks for having me.